A standard four drawer filing cabinet is 52 inches high and 15 inches wide. If it is evenly loaded and the center of gravity is at the center of the cabinet, a worker is tilting a filing ca the filing cabinet to the side to clean under it. To what angle can he tilt the cabinet before it tips over? So let's draw what's going on here so that we can understand it visually. So let's say this is the surface of the floor. It's flat. This is um, a flat surface. And let's draw a perpendicular imaginary perpendicular to the surface. Now uh, let's draw our filing cabinet. So the filing cabinet is being tilted at some angle. So this is the width of the filing cabinet and this is the height of the filing cabinet. So the width is given to us as 15 inches and the height is given to us as 52 inches. So let's just do that now. It's essentially a rectangle and we are supposed to find this angle right here. Now we've drawn it like this specifically because um, if the filing cabinet is tilted more, the, its center of gravity would shift more to the right and the filing cabinet would fall to the floor like that. Um, if the filing cabinet was a little bit to uh, rotate it to the left um, counterclockwise and the uh, and the guy who was sweeping under it let go of it it would fall like this so this is the angle at which if it just moves a little bit more uh, it would tilt over so because of that we can we can say that the opposite of this angle is the width and the adjacent of this angle is the height Be specifically because it is at its maximum um, angle before it tilts over if it was um, if it was not the maximum we could not assume these these values but since it is at that point where it's a little more and it tilts over we can assume that the opposite and adjacent of this angle this this angle is equal to this angle because of the perpendicular and geometry that the opposite and adjacent are these values so the tan of this angle is opposite over adjacent from trigonometry so tan of the critical angle at the pivot point before it tilts over is opposite over adjacent and we know our opposite is 15 and our adjacent is 52 the inches cancel so our critical angle before it tilts over is tan inverse of 15 over 52 and this angle happens to be I believe 16 degrees so that's our critical angle is what was asked of us in the question so this angle is 16 degrees right here a little more 16.5, it would tip over a little less, it would go that way. That's how you solve the problem.